Avoiding and treating bug bites. How can I avoid bug bites? Well, certainly if you're traveling to avoid bug bites, you should get an insect repellent. And a good insect repellent usually has DEET in it. You should always consider using long sleeve shirts and pants in areas where you feel you may get mosquito bites, but often those are areas that tend to be hot and humid, so it's hard to do that. So if the best thing you can do is protect yourself with insect repellent, and the deed containing insect repellents are very good ones. Why does it seem some people get bitten by bugs more than others? Everybody gets bit. And it's not that one person is getting bit more than the next person. But one person's immune response is much more reactive to that bite. That's why sometimes you'll go on a trip with a friend and you'll feel like one person is getting quote-unquote bit more than the others. But that's not really happening. Everybody's getting bit equally, but what you're seeing is your body's response to that bite. It's an allergic response where you know, one person can be much more aggressive and reactive, and the next person, it could feel like nothing. But everybody gets bit. Bugs don't like one person more than the other. They like to bite everybody. It's just that one person's body reacts more aggressively. What is scabies? Scabies are human mites that have existed for 2,500 to 3,000 years. And originally they were described by the Egyptians, actually. And they're mites that can lead to a very pruritic or very itchy eruption all over the body. Typically in the armpits, in the webs of the hands, around the umbilicus, and the growing in the general areas. It's infectious, it can be spread from person to person, and it's contagious, and it has to be treated. To treat yourself, you should see the, your doctor who can prescribe a medicine for you that can cure you of scabies. Should I scratch an itch caused by an insect bite? When you have an insect bite, oftentimes, if you can avoid to scratch that bite, it's in your best interest. That may lead you not to have things like discoloration, scarring, or skin breakdown as a result of your own scratching and picking. Obviously, sometimes your body's immune response to that bite is so dramatic that you can't help yourself but to scratch. In that case, you should get an over-the-counter cortisone and try that. If that doesn't help topically, the doctor can prescribe a stronger cortisone that can often help calm that bug bite down a little bit quickly, more quickly, and can lead you to have that result faster. Obviously, moisturization of the skin can also help prevent itching as much as possible. What is swimmer's itch? Swimmer's itch is an extremely itchy eruption that's self-limited. It's usually caused when a person swims or in an area of water that is infected with a parasite or an organism called a schistosome. That schistosome can invade the skin, and humans are not normal hosts of this organism. So usually the organism will die within the human skin. But during that process, it leads to a very reactive phenomenon in the skin that can cause itching and can last several days. This itching is usually self-limited and resolves on its own. And these organisms cannot invade deeper structures such as deep fat, connective tissue, or muscle, or bone, and the disease is not communicable to another person. When should I see a doctor about a bug bite? There are certain bug bites that can be dangerous. Sometimes a spider bite, such as a black widow spider, can actually cause death and if it's severe enough. But if you have a bite that ulcerates, that is increasing in size, that's not getting better quickly, or if you have fevers, chills, nausea, or vomiting, you should seek the advice of your doctor as soon as possible.